You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face who's been on Greater Brockton before and also ran for office. We'll talk about that another time. John Drzinskas. Hey, John. Uh, how you doing, Mark? Good. Welcome. Yeah, Welcome. Glad yeah. to see you here. Now, nice to be here again. John, you are involved in all sorts of things in Brockton, okay? I am. Uh, two years ago, you ran for city councilor. And yes, I know and you're running six. again, and we'll get you back for on another show at another time. Yeah, like but you've stayed involved the last two years uh, in everything. Um, this this Keith Park Neighborhood Association event, Campello uh, Pop Up Village, 1917. You live in the a different village. Right. You live in the Lithuanian village, which is in Montello. In Montello. Yes. But you're involved in Campello. How'd you get involved, and um, what, what's your take on this whole event? I think it's wonderful. Well, as, as you mentioned, Mark, I'm involved in uh, several other uh, committees and community activities in the city of Brockton. And um, two years ago, when I was campaigning, I met Lynn Smith. Mm -hmm. And um, I started talking to her, and um, you know, I found out a little bit about her background and how much work she does, volunteer work she does in Brockton. And uh, I, I said, I said this, this, this woman is, is fantastic. This is, a, this is a superwoman. She, she does all this on her own time mm -hmm. and basically on her, her own dime. And I, at that time, I said, well, this is something I want to be involved with, okay? And I asked, I asked her, uh, do, you have to be, um, do you have to live in the neighborhood of Camp Hall to be involved in this project? And she said, absolutely not. No, we'll take your time. Yep. We're, we'll take your money if we need to, although they don't need to do that. They're, they're, they right. got grant funding from Mass Humanities. Exactly, exactly. So you're one of the volunteers extraordinaire to help out with this thing. It's pretty ambitious, John. You're talking 12 to 6. You're talking six solid hours. Six solid hours, but it does, you know, if the weather cooperates, and even if it doesn't, okay, um, this, has, I, uh, this has the potential of what I, I call to be a, a super event for the city of Brockton. It really does. Now, your involvement in this thing is Brockton is, has always been a very diverse city. Mm -hmm. At one point in time, Brockton had a huge Lithuanian population. You're a Lithuanian, right. and I can even say your name. <laughs> I actually learned how to say Pribyshauskas too back in the day when he was in, okay? Um, but what they're trying to do is show the different ethnic groups that were here a hundred years ago. Exactly. That's changed now. There's all sorts of new wonderful ethnic groups, but back in 1917, it was different. But Brockton is still diverse even in 2017 mm -hmm. with, a, with just different groups involved. So talk about some of the, you know, I, I heard there's authentic costumes from the day. I heard Mr. Um, Mr. Benson and Mr. Landerholm are both training people that are the strolling volunteers. I'm assuming there might even be a little bit of language training, possibly, because there was Swedish in Campello. Sw yeah, the Swedes were known to, uh, to settle mostly in Campello. Um, there's just a total of 25, I guess you can call them booths or, or tables, mm -hmm. and uh, several different ethnic and uh, nationalities that will be represented, the Swedes being one. Um, uh, Jim Benson, who's involved with uh, the first evangelical Lutheran church, mm -hmm. is where most of the Swedish immigrants um, went to worship. So uh, the church itself will have a booth. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned the, my own group, the Lithuanians, the Knights of Lithuania Council One, which is um, located right here in Brockton, will have a booth. We'll be featuring uh, different types of ethnic food. Uh, we will have um, our people dressed in ethnic costumes, which are very colorful if you haven't seen them. Mm -hmm. you went, you've been to our, several oh, of yeah. our events. And um, we have, uh, we have the, uh, the Haitian uh, community will be represented. Uh, let's see, um, the Sons of Italy will, will mm -hmm. have a booth. And um, I believe the uh, Puerto Rican community will have a booth. Okay. So it's, it's, it's a great coming together of different cultures. Um, and you know, immigration today is a um, is a big issue. You know, it's coming out of Washington and and other places. And um, this will this will show what the immigrants uh, were back in 1917 compared to what they are today. There's actually going to be people that you mentioned that will be um, will be role playing, and uh, we plan on having um, <clears throat> somebody playing an immigrant from 1917 talking to an immigrant from 
from uh, 2017 and, and talking about the challenges they both faced. Well, we know lots of people that have come here, some under bad circumstances, like uh, Haitians came here after the earthquake. Mm -hmm. um, one of the ones that you and I both know, uh, Gene Bradley, yep. he came here, he became a U.S. citizen. He's running for office, too. He, is, he yes. graduated from Massasoit Community College. He graduated from Suffolk. And, and now he wants to give back to the community, as do you. Right. Okay, so I think Brockton forever has been the place where everybody gets along. It's really, mm -hmm. a, mel it's really a melting pot. I know that's a cliche, but it, 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 really, it really is. Well, the difference now, I think, is people aren't just in specific sections. I think it's kind of melted into every place. If right. you think about it, there were sections back in 1917, distinct sections yeah, where different people lived together. Right. Like there was a, a, a Jewish and an African-American neighborhood downtown, which is where Crescent Court was. Mm -hmm. There were Jewish butchers. There, were, there was a temple there right. when we still had a temple in Brockton. Right. Okay, and like I said, everybody gets along. Um, you know. I, I, my favorite thing for any of these events is even though there are individual events like the Haitian Flag Day, Cape Verdean, uh, in, you know, Cape Verdean Day in, mm -hmm. in July, I like it when everyone's in one place. And not only that, you have all the different types of food, you have all the different types of music, all the different types of dancing. That's what Brockton is. Right. Okay, I worked in Foxborough for nine years. I've lived primarily in Brockton my whole life, 53 out of 55 years. That's what's special about Brockton because nobody really talks about the, they talk about the differences, but they educate you about the differences and there are more similarities than differences in there, my view. There, there definitely is. So everybody's going to be here. Now you have a little, little, um, postcard there. It yes. says free entry. That means free entry to go to the event. Free entry and it's actually free parking too. Okay. Uh, a lot of events charge for parking. We do not. There's uh, plenty of room to park. Uh, the event is at the uh, South, uh, I'm old school, I still call it South Junior High School. Right. But it's actually the, at the South Middle School. Um, the playground is, um, the playground adjacent to the school is Nelson Playground, mm -hmm. and there's plenty of room to park, plenty of room for people to walk around. Um, the, it's a rain or shine event. Okay. Because you got indoors. The school uh, system is allowing it indoors right. if it rains, which is great. Because, right. honestly, a lot of people don't plan for that. So no. I'm glad you guys did. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to the Brockton School Department, we, um, we have the use of the gym if, if, the, uh, if we have inclement weather. So, yeah. give us the hard sell. We, I, I got the three minute queue. I think we have two minutes left. Tell okay. people why they need to come. First of all, it's free. Well, first of all, it's free, but it's it's going to be a great event, a great family a family oriented event. There's there's uh, activities for the kids, uh, interactive activities for the kids where they can uh, they can make theater masks, for example, mm -hmm. uh, from from the uh, from the um, the era. They can make um, uh, bookmarks. And um, there's there's uh, there's going to be all types of uh, entertainment. We have we have bands, we have ragtime, jazz, Dixieland. Okay, they will be playing for almost the entire the entire event. So it's it's for lack of a better term, it's a field day. Well, yeah. Thank you for promoting it. Thank you for your involvement in it. And we're going to be there, but you got to go. Okay. Right? Uh, you're right. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you, John. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for having me on, Mark. Glad to. Yep. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.